When you're just starting to learn how to auscultate, you might be wondering where you should place your stethoscope. Additionally, you might be wondering where to move your stethoscope next after you first place it on your listening surface. These are both important questions, but luckily the answer is simple. You could start either at the base of the heart and work your way towards the apex, or you could start at the apex and work your way towards the base. So starting at the apex, you would move your stethoscope medially towards the left lower sternal border, then upwards towards the left second intercostal space, and then across to the right second intercostal space. You could also do this in the opposite direction if you'd like, starting at the right second intercostal space, then across to the left second intercostal space, next down to the left lower sternal border, and finally to the apex, while pausing and listening carefully at each auscultation point for normal and any abnormal sounds. As you listen at each point, keep in mind that some sounds are best heard better than others at different points. For example, a normal S1 and S2 have different sound intensities when listening for them at the base, compared to the apex. Classically, S1 is usually louder than S2 at the apex, and S2 is usually louder than S1 at the base. Specific murmurs also have locations on the chest where they're heard loudest. Take the murmur of mitral stenosis, for instance. It is best heard at the apex. Aortic stenosis, on the other hand, can be heard throughout the precordium, but loudest at the base, with the murmur radiating towards the neck and axilla. Heart sounds and murmurs will often have an area of maximal intensity and radiation across the chest, but we'll leave that for another video in the series. For now, just remember that when listening to heart sounds, start at one end of the precordium and inch your stethoscope towards the other side, noting what you hear at each auscultation point. You can learn more about these sounds and interact with them at auscultate.medschool.com, which is our interactive web application and medical sound library. You can navigate through each auscultation spot to expose the sounds you might hear at each area. You could also explore each sound further for deeper dives into each sound for things like sound variations, pathophysiology, and much more.